Visa New, thank you so much. This is really wonderful, uh, wonderful written rationale here. Thank you so much. And I just want to mention something. Your um, enthusiasm in the class has been just outstanding. I, I, you're truly excited to learn um, the techniques here, and that's apparent every week. And I think that's why you're doing so well. I think that you're just really showing an amazing amount of enthusiasm. And it, it seems to me like you are just like really anxious to jump into next week and get started on some new techniques. And I, I think it's really refreshing, and I really appreciate that. Let's go ahead and jump over to your work. Um, I thought, I, oh, I do have it up. I've got it up right here. Okay, so unfortunately, we don't have the magazine ad, which I had requested. So I can't really talk about adaptation here. I do remember remember it was a, a work in progress. I, I think we had that kind of weird perspective on the one. This is great. I love this. This is fantastic. Just a couple of, of recommendations moving forward in this particular piece here. So um, ultimate adventure awaits. So dive head first. That dive head first, that is kind of a negative connotation, I think, because we've all learned that you never dive head first into a body of water, right, that you're not familiar with. So I just think that that doesn't really have anything to do with the execution of the ad. I'm just saying that just maybe just to, to clean that up a little bit, think about that terminology. It does have kind of a negative aspect to it, dive head first. So I would just change that so if you're not saying dive head first, that will kind of ring some uh, subconscious um, kind of fears into some people. I think that we can improve that. Okay, and then, the, so what are you waiting for? Book now. That's great, but I, I don't see putting it in this box right here. We're creating a degree of separation. So we want the text to be incorporated within the composition, not pasted over the composition, so we get a nice harmony. So I recommend removing the, the, the white box from the animation. Otherwise, the animation looks great. You could also, te uh, technically, what you want to do is, is move the, the let's move the subhead, the headline down a little bit closer to the subhead and then take this, reduce the size of the call to action and tuck it up right under here. Now you're going to have to, well, actually, you can leave it right where it's at or even move it up just a little bit. But just so we have headline, subhead, our group, then this is just a little bit below that. You may have to work on the color because, um, uh, you know the animation, the type of the the type of the color of the type might not work great over the background. So think about ways that you can circumvent that um, to um, preserve maximum edibility. I'm sorry, readability and legibility. Okay. The other thing I notice is that the um, the location is in, in the banner ad. Now you can you don't have to include the entire address because of course people know if you click on the banner on a website, if there's a banner, you click on it, you're going to go to that website. It's a link, and I think pretty much everyone knows that. But the just including the location, U.S. Virgin Islands or Virgin Islands or St. Thomas, whatever, is a pretty pertinent part of the um, uh, 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 marketing campaign, as it is considered to be some of the most beautiful area on earth. So I would recommend including the location in the banner ad. Other than that, I think we're looking fantastic. Great job. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Thank you very much.